heat across much of the Bay Area. At San Francisco's Chrissy Field, though, temperature much more tolerable, especially if you are out above the water or in it. The fog <laughs> didn't make its usual appearance. Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan in the Weather Center will explain how long all this stuff's going to last. The hot weather is going to last through at least the middle of next week. Uh -huh. The worst of the heat is going to be tomorrow. But when it heats up, we got to worry about the fire danger. One of the ingredients of that is the amount of moisture in the air compared to the air temperature. That's just what the relative humidity is. And we look out for these spots where the relative humidity is dipped down into the teens, and that's where it is in Santa Rosa, Fairfield, Concord, and in Livermore. The good news is, while these numbers are going to be in similar territory tomorrow, if not a little bit lower, we are going to have light winds for most of the day. Check out these Futurecast wind gusts. And these are the gusts, not even the sustained winds. This is very light for the Bay Area, around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Picks up a little bit during the afternoon, but if we can keep those wind gusts below 25 miles an hour, it means the sustained winds are likely to be below 15 miles an hour, and that helps with the fire danger. When it's going to be as hot as it is tomorrow, all it takes is a spark, so make sure you are staying fire aware. Right now, Seen a little bit of cloud cover floating overhead. That's actually coming from way down to our south. It's not dropping any rain on us, and it's not slowing down the warm up. Look at these temperatures 77 degrees downtown. That's four degrees cooler than where we topped out this afternoon. Still 83 degrees in Oakland, and then we have plenty of 90s 94 degrees in San Jose and in Santa Rosa. It's 98 degrees in Concord, and a whopping 101 in Livermore. Showed you at the top of the hour, it's 103 right now in Fairfield. We're going to see that cloud cover floating up from the south as we head through the rest of tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Future cast early tomorrow shows that veil of clouds overhead, but that acts like a blanket. It's going to keep temperatures from dropping too far, so a warmer than normal start just gives us a higher jumping off point for temperatures to be even hotter tomorrow. We're not going to see that fog and low cloud cover. These clouds, like what we have out there right now, way up in the atmosphere. So they're really just going to filter the sunshine rather than blocking it. We'll see those through about mid-afternoon, and then that batch of clouds slides up to the north. We'll see another batch of clouds for the second half of the weekend, but once again, it's not going to have a big impact on temperatures. Plenty of heat in store for us for the next several days. Low temperatures, warm for this time of year. The warmest spots barely dipping below 70 degrees for our lows by tomorrow morning. That's mainly going to be far inland in the East Bay, right around 60 degrees in the city. A lot of low to mid 60s, even the cool spots barely down below 60 degrees. And here's the heat for tomorrow. Brace yourself. 81 degrees in the city, close to 90 degrees in Oakland, well into the 90s around the South Bay, and close to 100 degrees for the Santa Clara Valley, forecasting a record tying high temperature of 98 degrees for San Jose, around 100 degrees for the North Bay, and then the hot spots farther east, especially east of the Diablo Range, approaching 110 degrees from Fairfield down towards Antioch and Brentwood, around 105 degrees for much of the Tri Valley. Just find some air conditioning, take a break from the heat of the day, and the air quality is going to be a concern as well. Tomorrow is a spare the air day. Everybody at least moderate air quality. That's the yellow shading here. And uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups in the East Bay and for the Santa Clara Valley. The hot air tends to be a very stagnant air mass without that breeze to stir things around. Temperatures back off slightly Saturday and Sunday, but still well into the 90s. And those numbers for inland temperatures, those aren't the hot spots. We're talking about those being the average. So within five degrees on either side of that is where you're going to top out in the in the vicinity of the Bay, we're talking highs into the 80s tomorrow, backing off a little bit Saturday and Sunday, but still warmer than normal temperatures with more triple-digit heat possible by the middle of next week.